So I'm playing Half-Life 2 uh, with uh, Nomi and Falcon and the Oculus Rift at the same time. There was basically no setup, it's just almost plug and play. Turn on virtual reality and I died again. Uh, yeah, and um, I must say that uh, adding haptic feedback is um, it's really interesting. Uh, it's definitely something that adds to the experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, again, it's a much better experience to uh, play Half-Life 2 VR using uh, Razer Hydra. Uh, because uh, it, it it's much more realistic, but adding the haptic feedback is uh, definitely a thing that uh, that adds to the realism. But uh, if we could have both this and the um, both haptic feedback and one-to-one -one tracking, it would be better. Of course, this feels kind of like one-to-one -one tracking. And shooting a gun gives recoil, and I can feel it in my hand. I can. I always find it out from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, I the guess. damn third rail. The damn third rail. I agree, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> if you ever heard about Namelius on. If you uh, ever heard about. If you ever heard about Namelius on Mental Bicine. Namelius. Namelius. Yeah, uh, it's much easier to uh, say his um, name in uh, his real life name is much easier to pronounce. <laughs> so, uh, so he's on Mental Bicine, and I'm borrowing his Falcon. Um, it's not my Oculus Rift I'm using, but I have mine uh, packed down just uh, just over here. Do any one of you guys want to try? Yeah. Are you are you ca messing with the Falcon? What? <laughs> uh, have all of you guys tried the leak motion? I have it at all. Do you have one? Yes, of course. I'm just not excited about it at all because of all the limitations. I, I want to try this. Hurry up and you know, you know get sick or something. Drew? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm never sick from playing Half-Life in VR. Either. It's basically the most comfortable. Uh, no, oh, yeah. it's not. But uh, it's basically... Yeah, I, I died again. Yeah. Drew wants to play. Yeah. 